So here now we will demo uh, the Hyper-V virtual switch extended port. This is uh, this our uh, what what this ex what extended port occurs before before the R2 it was only a port access list mm -hmm. where you can you can only specify three elements the local and, and the remote address and direction inbound and allowed deny or uh, allow. However, 12 R2 they extend the port occurs with a new feature where you can Sorry. deny and specify by per port by, by port. Start extended access list. And port as well. Yeah, extended access list. Extended, that we call extended access list. Same as Cisco. For example, you can configure an access list for a virtual machine to allow all incoming traffic and outgoing HTTP traffic on port 80 while block all the other uh, protocol on that port. You can use the port name instead of uh, port number also. No, port, uh, yes. Exactly. HTTP, uh, exactly. HTTP. So here our scenario for this demo. Uh, Mr. Heisman, he invited, he visits our school and he installed web billing. Here the web billing is installed in this virtual machine on this Hyper-V server. Uh, we have a remote desktop uh, application server. You can see each on different VLAN. Okay. The account servers, he is accessing the, the web billing server. And this is from this has Cine client is running a remote application on this remote desktop uh, server. So we have two servers and we have uh, two clients. This one, so now uh, this account server, he should be able only to access the, the account server. Heist on this one. No, he is <laughs> no, is no, here. Yeah, Heist on is here. You can see uh, X. So, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the front desk user, they should be able only to access the remote application server, they should, they should not be able to access the web billing. And the account users, the cashier, he has only able to access the application server, the web billing application, but they should not be able to access the remote application. So now let's see the demo before moving. It's a big demo. We will check if we have any access list. And, uh, installed, uh, implemented in our uh, virtual switch to PowerShell. This is full PowerShell. Uh, so you can see here I have, I have, uh, I have access list for the virtual machine account server, and I have uh, access list for the second virtual machine. Uh, which is remote desktop services. So now I will clear and start from scratch, remove all the access list and I will start how see can, how can we uh, implement access list. So the same command, give me the access list for this virtual machine and remove all the accounts. Run. And again run. So now if we go back and we, we implement, we don't have any access list, you see. On the same, second virtual machine, no access list. Now. Access list on the virtual switch. Uh, what, what, what here is, is uh, first of all, add virtual account, network adapter, uh, extended access list, virtual machine name, action deny, direction inbound, and wait one. What means wait? Like the access list was starting from the beginning, from the start. So the wait one, the higher, the higher wait will be on top. So wait with 100 will be higher than wait one, not vice versa. So when you have access list with weight 10, it's higher than weight 1. So access list with weight Exactly, access list from up to down, from the highest weight. When it meets one condition, it It will stop there, exactly. It will, uh, it will, it will if it depends which, what kind of uh, access list, if it port, port 80, if it reaches, okay, block, block, it will not continue. Uh, it will not continue to the lower okay. ones. No, no, exactly, it's yet khalas, done, stop. Exactly. So here, uh, first of all, I want to, uh, this is the first step, deny all. Deny all inbound for the, for the account server and for the remote desktop application server. Completely deny. Did you for the deny all? Yes, because bef bef I, I deny everything and then I will start enabling what I want to enable. Default, no, no. Uh, no. But default, there is no access, there is no access list. No access list. Everything is open. So now, uh, everything is open. 
So now I, I, I denied all traffic inbound for the account server and for the remote application server. Now, I want to, I'm allowing now for each virtual machine, account application server, you can see three row access list for the server, which I'm allowing our, my, D, my D, DNS server, my gateway, and my second DNS server. So because I have Active Directory, because the first access list, I deny, I deny everything. So this VM cannot reach even Active Directory, if you join to the Active Directory, cannot connect, connect with DNS. So then here I allowed, they allowed uh, for the account application server, uh, DNS, so all, I will take all traffic to, to this uh, virtual server. Yes. There is no interface for, uh, for the virtual machine. All traffic I come to this virtual machine will be filtered. Ah, so the virtual machine is the exactly. Is a of three virtual switch. Okay. No, virtual switch is one. On, on virtual switch? Or? Exactly. This is here on, on the virtual switch. Per virtual switch. The access list per virtual switch. Exactly. Yes. Because, based on, uh, because this virtual machine is connected to a virtual switch one. Eh, because you can see here, wait, wait 20, wait 21, wait 22. Exactly, so uh, connect with the server, connect with the server, if not, then deny everything. So only it will connect with those three servers. So I will run it as fast for all VM. Fine. Now I need to allow the account application server to allow for which remote IP address for the subnet 20. As you can see, even before the, the account users, they are on subnet 20, local port 80. So since it's, it's IIS server installed in the virtual machine, protocol TCP, wait 10. So allow everything, the, so 2021, 20, 22 to connect with those servers then, wait 20, connect local port 80. The second uh, access list for the second VM, on desk users, as it's on the diagram, also eight nine uh, uh, Now I will uh, run the allow for for uh, IS port eighty traffic, and then I will allow remote application RDP application for subnet twenty eight. So what I did so far? So. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Exactly. By default, I will double check. I believe also it should not be part of first switch. When you implement uh, implement an access list, any any because it's per virtual machine. So even if you change the virtual switch, well, those will still apply the access list because per virtual machine is not per per adapter. It's not per physical adapter. No, here per oh, uh, virtual machine per virtual machine the extended access list per virtual machine. You can see here I specify the virtual machine. On the host server, yes. On the host server. On the host server. This host server, I have, uh, uh, as we said, we have, okay, one, one host has multiple, I have a web application on this host. I have another uh, virtual machine. And to, to, to simulate, I can have two virtual machine account users. Those maybe could be uh, physical PCs. But the virtual machine are on the, uh, you should be, uh, virtualized, so they are running on Hyper-V using the virtual switch. So now we will test what we did so far. Now the account server, they should ab be able to access only the, ac uh, sorry, account user should be able only to access, access the account uh, application server. We will go to account users.
So now I want to uh, test the, the account from the account user if I can reach the account server only on port uh, on port uh, 80, and I want to uh, try to access the RDP server as well. So the first rule is to try the uh, using the the, the new uh, command which is super ping, the not the traditional ping where you can specify the destination port. So test net connection computer name. Computer name, uh, account, app SRV, common port, HTTP. You can see, no, you can see ping failed. The account, the, the account user was not able to ping the account server, but was, was able to browse through 80. You can see test, TCP test successful through. If I go to, if I open the, if I open to the check, Internet Explorer, not this one. Can see. You see, I was able, I was able to access the web application IS on the account server from the account users. Now I will try. Look here, here, through, through. Um, this is test. This is the new super bing command line. Command line. But, um, test net connection, computer name. I'm testing. This is this uh, virtual machine and try to HTTP. See, it give me TCP test successful. Uh, now, if I, I do the same, so now the account user, he want to go to the remote desktop server virtual machine, try RDP, so common port will be uh, RDP, and the virtual machine name is RDS-remote-srv. So ping fail and RDP also should fail as well. Now trying to connect to the server using 3389 also will fail as well. So this is the benefit of the extended port access list. And the same also failed to connect to TCP port 3389. So those account users were able only to, to browse the IS on the account server, but those users they cannot uh, access the RDP application server on different and vice versa. So other users can Mm -hmm. inbound. inbound, yes. You can, if you want to put outbound, you specify the, the source. If you for inbound, the local port. So I use, I use only the inbound. I need to inspect the traffic which are coming inside inbound virtual machine.